Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox Entice. Today we'll talk about why Mackenzie Turner is evil. Let's head into it. Number 6. Shaming people Shaming people is never okay, especially if it's about things they cannot change. In February 2021, Mackenzie made a notorious video titled Roblox Skins for Fat People. In the six minute clip, she savagely and mercilessly condemned people who were overweight and obese. She even went so far as to share an airplane story about literally pushing a person's fat into their seat on an airplane because it was in her space. Fat shaming, who came up with that? That's brilliant. Yes, shame people who have bad habits until they stop. It's just one of the many heinous things Mackenzie Turner said. Mackenzie received serious backlash for the video, even reportedly losing a chance to choreograph the Roblox dance movie Don't Talk to Jade. She told Time her video was satire and how she felt it was really important that we make fun of everybody, adding, I think it brings us together and unites us as people is that we can poke fun at all of us. Mackenzie Turner was accused of being abusive towards ex-boyfriend and fellow YouTuber Zag, also in September 2020. In January 2021, Zag accidentally uploaded a video to his public channel that was meant to be private, discussing the abusive relationship with an unnamed significant other. Other. Mackenzie Turner posted her own response video to the allegations, calling them not true, according to BuzzFeed Robloxians. Number 5. Verbal Abuse Treat your squad members and your friends equally and with respect. Drake is the latest member to leave the squad and put out a YouTube video detailing the events that led up to him leaving. He said that he was verbally abused by other members and an altercation after a night out left him afraid to stay there anymore. The squad's event organizer, Zach, is heard on a recording telling Drake to get off the property. Drake then claims Zach called him homophobic slurs and every name in the book, like lazy, trash, and egotistical. Drake also claimed that the members spray-painted over a mural in his room with the words, get out of our house, and the squad manager Luca hacked his Instagram account and changed the username. He also mentioned the strict strike system in place in the squad house, three strikes and you're out, and claimed that he only received two in total. Although Drake said there was a lot of things about living in the squad house that bothered him, it was when the team went to Vegas for Levy's 21st birthday that things really got messy. The YouTube star said that he and the squad event organizer Luca got into a heated argument after Luca claimed that Drake was saying bad things about him. Drake even accused Luca of verbally abusing him. He's in my ear calling me names, saying all I do is paint my face, calling me trash, dirt, lazy, unproductive, selfish and egotistical, he continued. I'm talking every name in the book, to the point where I'm bawling my eyes out. After that, Drake said he was forced to pack up his things and move out, despite trying to talk things over with Mackenzie and the squad's manager Zach. After he was kicked out, Drake alleged that the former squad members hacked his Instagram account, sent him threatening text messages and bullied him on social media. Mackenzie Turner broke down in a recent live stream that got uploaded on YouTube about Drake leaving and telling lies. She cried out loud, I'm over this, of me giving everything to those people who were at such a small point in their career. I mentor them. I become their friend. I give them hugs when they're crying, she added. I've proven time and time again that I'm a good person and that I've literally done nothing but help these people. It breaks my heart. Number 4. YouTubers shouldn't curse. It's clear that swearing can take the form of verbal abuse and harassment, and it is this sort of swearing that can be potentially harmful, a substitute for physical aggression. A well-aimed swear word has been the instigator of many fights, but the question remains, does hearing swear words in a movie or TV show on the playground harm children? Surprisingly, there's been little research on this question. In all likelihood, it isn't swearing itself that's harmful. The article's authors state that they recorded 10,000 instances of swearing and rarely seen direct harm, but the fact is associated with swearing. For example, when we hear a younger child swear, we assume that the child lacks discipline, and a swearing child might suggest to us that he or she is a bully or a bad influence on other children. Swearing might indicate a lack of discipline, or it might just be related to a more open and free-speaking home environment. Environment. Number 3. Swearing does harmful things. The researcher suggests that swearing develops in the same manner as other parts of vocabulary. Children seem to know all the same swear words as their same age peers, and as a child ages, his or her swearing vocabulary increases. It's the social environment, the parents' pattern of discipline, the child's habits, and emotional circumstances that determine whether or not a child will unleash a curse word. Yeah, some, some Roblox games uh, that allows you to swear, and you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that loves saying f sh Word. Number 2. Does everyone swear? Certainly everyone knows the same swear words. As suggested, lots of developmental and social factors determine how frequently people swear. Younger adults do indeed swear more, as do men. Another question concerns whether swearing has increased over the years, and although there's been little longitudinal research, preliminary evidence suggests that incidences of swearing is relatively stable. 
Number one, context matters. It's important to note that when it comes to swearing, context matters. The same swear word can be used as an insult, an exclamation of surprise, or as an expression of pleasure. As a social psychologist who studied many aspects of communication, I was surprised to find there was little to no research on swearing, and said to myself, another missed research opportunity. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.